Hi, this is Ikaro Fei from Spectral Audio, and this is the overview video for the new Mod 7 module pack for CB2Kit. Mod 7 is a new module pack that includes 7 new modules Auto Slide, Drunk Modulator, Function Generator, Game Controller, Infinite Sequencer, Loop Extractor, and Variable Clock. Auto Slide is a module based on the Auto Slide feature that we added to the Sequencer module in the CB2Kit 2.6 update. The difference between the Auto Slide and the SLU modules is that the Auto Slide automatically adjusts the slide time based on the changes of the incoming signal. In other words, the slide time increases if the incoming signal changes drastically, or decreases if the change is subtle. The auto slide can also be set to detect changes automatically or only when triggered via the gate bus. The drunk modulator is a CV generator module based on the idea of random walk. When the module receives a clock, it randomly decides if its value is going to remain the same, increase or decrease. It can also influence the module's decision by adjusting the direction and chance parameters. The Function Generator is a two-stage envelope generator that features adjustable curves, cycling mode, and switchable CV input. What's unique about the Function Generator is that it includes an X-curve parameter that adjusts the curve of the rise and fall stages in opposite directions, which results in more usable and musical shapes. The CV input can be used to either modulate the rise time, fall time, or both. The module can also be set to cycle manually or via its second CV input. The Game Controller module lets you use a video game controller to generate different kinds of CV signals. You can use the buttons on the controller to generate gate signals and the joysticks to generate continuous CV signals. Please check the CV2Kit user manual for a list of tested controllers. The Infinite Sequencer is a sequencer that can record and play back quantized sequences. In record mode, the module receives MIDI notes from the pitch bus and appends them to the sequence. In playing mode, the module advances the sequence whenever it receives a trigger coming from the assigned gate bus channel and resets it when the CV2Kit's transport is initiated. To use the infinite sequencer, you need to first calibrate your oscillator using the notes module. Then, set the notes module and the infinite sequencer to the same pitch bus channel. And make sure that the quantizer is disabled in the notes module.
The loop extractor module combines a loop layer, an envelope follower, and a comparator to generate CV modulation loops based on the shapes of audio loops. To get started, drag an audio loop into the module. The loop extractor will automatically stretch the loop to match CV Toolkit's BPM according to the bars parameter. The speed and gain of the envelope follower can be set via the time, pre-gain, and output gain parameters. In order to fully explore the possibilities of the loop extractor module, try changing CV2 Kit's BPM and the bars parameter to change the length and speed of the generated CV loop. The variable clock module is a unique clock generator because it uses a built-in sequencer to control the length of each pulse. The generator has a default length for the pulses, and each step of the sequence can either multiply or divide the period by the factor according to the step's value. The variable clock module can be used to generate anything from custom swing patterns to more complex and non-standard clock patterns. For more information about the new Mod 7 pack, visit spectroaudio.com. As always, thanks for watching.